This traffic sure is loud. But look who I got with me. Somebody made the comment I need to stop catching all your fish. All my fish? Yeah. Because <laughs> you can't catch fish, can you? No. Okay. <laughs> we had a little time this afternoon, so we thought we would hit one of our favorite spots and do a little fishing. Here come some folks. We've got a south wind at six miles an hour, maybe eight. Not too bad. A little choppy. Not, not nothing to worry about. How y'all doing? Okay. What are y'all catching out here right now? Uh, a lot of reds and trout. Is that the trout, the trout still in pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. And the fun. redfish you've been doing too. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, a lot of. Most bells we'd be able to get some time back to the short pickets too. Yeah. Right. Thanks, man. Later, uh, Artificial. Tourist always curious. Actually, you sound like a local. Let's go help short stuff. What do you say? Hope the water's not cold yet. We've had some cold mornings. Ah, no, the water's still warm. The water's warm. The water's plenty warm. Awesome. Man, I was in jacket this morning. I was like, oh no, my, my water's gonna get cold. But it ain't cold yet. This one never wants to. Alright, let's put some gup on. Time to get the gup out. I didn't know I was flats fishing. All the guys are jig heads. Fish. Ew. Lizard. Oh man. Caught a gulp chomper. These things chomp more gulp, man. I mean, and they take them off to the puffer. Look at that. Look what they do to the gull. Isn't that incredible? They got some teeth, man. They... <coughs> Gulp killer right there. I'm throw my typical old jerk shad. New penny collar. And uh, these guys here. Camera messed up, but my puffer chomped my, my gulp. We're gonna have to try this again. Look what they do to it, man. They just eat the whole thing. Jeez. Gosh. That's to attack, attack it. He missed it, so I dropped it back down. He smacked it. That is another gulp killer. He's a lizard. Boy, did they got some toothpicks, man. Look at the teeth on that thing. <laughs> All right, All right, let's catch something we can eat. What do you say? Wow. They really scare me, folks. The last time I saw that, it was a huge pot of jacks. I just, the wind's going this way and I see this swell coming at me. I think it was those giant mullet. 
a big school giant mullet. But man, it sure looked like Jack. What I've been doing is putting a big float on one rod. When I catch a pinfish or a ladyfish or something, I put live bait on it, got a heavy leader. Just troll it behind the boat, man. You never know what's smacking on these flats. I like to make sure that one of the rods in the boat is a little bit stouter. I adjust the cork to the depth of the water I'm fishing. This is about two foot deep. So let's make it like a foot and a half. And then I'll put a pin and I'll throw him out behind the boat. While I'm moving forward, that's back there floating and moving around, you know, full cast length behind me. Last time I was on this flat, I had that going and I was kept, we were catching big trout and reds in front of us. Bull red hit the cork behind me. If you ever watch the Keys episode where we catch the big nurse shark, Teresa gets a tarpon on the, on the float behind her. So dragging a float and a live bait behind you or even cut bait is an amazing way to kind of double dip while you're on the flats or even while you're trolling in the gulf or in the open bay. Give it a shot. Killing two birds with one stone or catching two fish with one kayak. <laughs> need to catch me something to put on that rod. Hey, the lizard. Look at the mouth of that dude. Got the whole gulf in his mouth. Love gulf. Got one? Lizard? Man, they're thick right now. We moved out to about five feet of water because we weren't doing any good in two or three foot. So we'll see what we do out here. Well, what do you know? That's something different, right? In the Caribbean, they make soup out of these. I'm going to start learning how in a minute. They don't leave me alone. Yeah. What is it? A pinfish trap. It's huge. You just spit it. Just spit it. What are you throwing? <laughs> well, I'm throwing my uh, well five inch norm, scope. My jerk shad, but um, they're all getting tore up. Ah, there you go. Oh, that's a five inch. I'm throwing the smaller one, the short shad. Oh, okay. You got your McCain rod and a pin fierce too. Yeah. I got my red spin, which is my go-to, and then I got my pin fierce too. What kind of line you got on there? Ah, oh, that's that blue camo, that spider wire. This throws further than that other stuff, in my opinion. I got the same reel on that rod, and I like the way this throws better, this blue camo. So it's been a trash fish uh, extravaganza so far. <laughs> We're killing it on the lizards, and... Oh, show them that little trick you do. Well, the normal tail looks like this, right? So if it gets attacked by pins or something and, it, and they gnaw it off, I just take my knife and add a new slit to it so it, you know. Split tail. Split tail, yeah. Of course the pins eat it all the way down to a nub. <laughs> uh -uh. But I just keep... Blowfish are bad about that right yeah. there, chomping it. I just keep splitting it until there's nothing left to split. Get more out of them. Trick of the trade, man. We were catching them 20 feet off the bank last time I was here, two feet of water. Now they're five feet out, so you just never know. All right, so we were talking about dragging a live bait behind you. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Teresa just accidentally caught a pinfish on her goal, gave it to me. He's out. Uh, floral model leader, jig head, big jig head, or uh, circle hook. A lot of stuff will come up to hit a, a, a wounded pinfish. Trash fish extravaganza. <laughs> oh well, at least there's something biting and tugging the line. Man, I love my bag. If y'all don't have a dry sack, it's almost like a milk crate that you can bring up front and get stuff in and out of. Love it. All right. And to round off the trash fish slam, a pin. Now, if I didn't have one out already, I'd put him out. She got a lizard. What do it be? All right, we've really completed the trash fish slam. She got a hard head. Let me see. I guess it's just a trash fish day. Can't always catch the good stuff, but it's always still a tug. 
We're gonna head back in and start to get cool. Don't want to have to load out in the dark. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. We'll catch y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Teresa, why didn't you catch any eating fish? Just wasn't my day on the water. You know, you're always catching all the fish now. I, need, I was starving to death that day and you didn't catch nothing. Nothing but trash. Trash fish. They all still pull though. Trash fish extravaganza day. Yeah, they tug, you know, what is it Dean says? Tug, tug is, is a drug. drug. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if it's trash, pinfish, little white uh, under the bridge. I don't care what it is. That's a cute outfit you got. For real. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But a day on the water is really always a win, don't you think? Hey, have y'all been fishing lately? Have y'all got skunk? Have y'all been plagued by nothing but trash fish? What kind of trash fish do you catch where you live? What's considered trash fish in Kansas? What's considered trash fish up north? Down here on the salt? Well, you saw it today. Clear left.